Engineering and IT, this sector provides a fascinating range of jobs and opportunities for graduates nowadays. I'm here today to meet the Head of Performance Engineering. Hey Rob, how are you doing? Hi Bob, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Nice, nice to, to see you. See. Now tell me about your career, a little bit about your career and explain the job of being the Head of Race Performance. So what that job entails really is just trying to pull together all the performance, the various different performance aspects of the car. Um, aerodynamics, tyres, mechanical, power unit, control systems. And then there's the innovative thinking. It's the thinking of how do we get more out of this car? So is there occasionally a little bit of taking away from there and giving more over there? Is it maintaining that balance as well? Yeah, you come across very few occasions where it's just a win-win situation. More often than not, it's a, it's a trade-off. You know, you're going to lose one thing, but you're going to gain something else. Um, and you just have to be always looking for that, for the, for the net wins. Um, ensuring that performance to the, that we add to the car um, is, is, sticks to the car, if you like. That it's not a, a one-hit wonder. So in that career path, was that constantly climbing the ladder or were you starting from zero every now and then or were you always starting from zero? I always feel that I'm starting from zero. You know, when I came to Williams, I came with a, you know, a wealth of experience, let's call it. Um, but I did feel that I was, I was starting from zero. You know, I had to prove myself to, to this bunch of people here. It's a very, very hard business, you know. Um, and I think you're constantly, you know, at the mercy of, of the stopwatch. You know, that, that tells, the, that tells the, all the, the story that, that you need to know, really. So, Rob, how did you actually start in engineering? Did you always want to become an engineer? The, the story goes that when I was 11, my dad asked me if I wanted to, if I was interested in, in, um, in going to the British Grand Prix. And, I, and yeah, we, we, we drove down to Silverstone and I walked in there and it just absolutely blew me away. From the moment, you know, that I walked in and I, and I looked at them, I just fell in love with them. The glamour of Formula One or driving Formula One cars, it was never any of that. I wanted to be an engineer. I was probably, you know, from a generation where I was lucky enough to be able to, to get into Formula One where you could, you know, when you got into motor racing, you could, you could learn all about the car, you know, because there was, it was smaller it meant that you had to look, work a lot harder. It meant that you were involved in every aspect of the car. So you learn a lot, you know. I think the first three, four years of me doing Formula One, I don't think I slept or went on holiday or did any of them things, but I learned a great deal. It's, it's difficult to do that nowadays. Here at Williams, you know, along with Randstad, we were really interested in the, in the Williams Randstad Engineering Academy because it's a great way of capturing, you know, the passionate, clever young people and bringing them through a proper staged education into Formula One. We want to find the next genius. You know, it's part of our responsibility to this company that we find the people who are going to take over from us. The Williams Randstad Engineering Academy is going to find them people. It's going to help to find them people. You know, that is, that is part of what this academy is going to do for us. Rob, who has been the biggest inspiration to you over the course of your career? I think there's, there's been quite a few. You know, it's, it's not one person. Jean Todd, who was a, an excellent manager, and Ross Braun did everything with a lot of integrity. Here at Williams, you know, I've got some great people for me to learn off. And is the one piece of advice that you've ever had that has stuck with you over the years? Do things with integrity and with honesty, you know. Do things that you believe in. Um, and if you really believe in something, then, then, then stick with it. Rob, thanks very much indeed. Thank you very really much, Rob. Really good stuff. Thank you.